many days later, I won't say how many, but I finally uh, finished this cheese. Like I said, days ago, um, I added a little bit more Beloved seasoning and I added a little bit more cayenne because it didn't have enough kick for me. But here's the finished product. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and I'm about to make two things with it because um, I'm hungry, as usual, when I make these videos. Um, I'm going to make a pimento cheese sandwich with ham, with serrano ham and some uh, roasted turkey. And I'm going to make a cheeseburger with lettuce, some little extra peppers, and um, probably some red onions. Well, yes, red onions, because I have my plate right over there. So here we go. Pan is heated up. Down there. Sprinkle some of the love seasoning on there. We're gonna let that cook. Okay, now that we've done the burger, we are going to do the grilled cheese sandwich. And I just use mayonnaise. I learned this from Paul Dean. I use mayonnaise instead of, see that? Instead of butter. So we're gonna put some butter on, I mean butter, mayonnaise on there. Slap it in the pan. We're gonna take our pimento cheese Put it on there. I like a lot. Okay, I'm hungry, so I'm trying to make this fast. Okay, I'm gonna take our turkey. Yeah, I'm gonna take our serrano ham that in there. Voila. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay. And we're going to take our other piece of bread, put some mayonnaise on it. Not a healthy sandwich at all. This is definitely something that you would just treat yourself to. There you go. Now it's time to flip. One, two, three. Yay! <laughs> Beautiful! Mm. Nice, nice, nice. Yay! Done, done. Okay, everybody, so here you have it. I'm ready to eat my grilled cheese sandwich and the pimento cheese burger. And uh, let's eat. I'm going to add a salad, maybe a few chips. We'll see and we're gonna see what it tastes like, okay? See you in a second. All right, so I am finally done. It's getting cold, it takes me forever to try to set these things up. Okay, so I cut it in half, there you go. So there is the cheeseburger. I'm hungry, okay, enough already. That 
is so good. I'm gonna save half for my daughter, who's upstairs. time burger time uh oh mm. hold on i'm gonna try this half it has all the onions on it i love onions mm. pardon my finger mm, messy Definitely worth making and um, actually if I had um, bacon I really wanted bacon in the sandwich instead of the serrano ham but I didn't have any so I used the ham instead but it's really good but I think um, if you try it with bacon it'll be really really good and I think the next time I'll even try it with the sourdough bread because I actually went to this coffee shop here and had a sandwich very similar it had pimento cheese candied um, jalapenos turkey, bacon, and tomatoes on it, on a sourdough bread toasted in a panini press. And it was so good. So that was kind of the inspiration for this, <clears throat> even though I don't have um, tomatoes on it or bacon, but that's kind of where I got the idea from. A little salad, because we want to be a little bit healthy. Mm. You see my new earrings? friend from church bought them for me um my pepper fell out but I roasted a pepper and you see that I had that on the burger so my onions fell out so obviously this is a very messy burger because you've got all that cheese slippery slimy well not slimy pimento cheese on it So this is definitely worth trying. Do anything you like with it. If you do try this recipe, let me know. Let me know what kind of other variations or ways that you eat pimento cheese. Usually, uh, pimento cheese I'll eat just on crackers. I usually don't do stuff like this, but obviously you want to mix it up sometimes. I know like basic saltine crackers, a little pimento cheese tastes really good. But I definitely recommend trying this recipe and trying different ways that you can get creative. I even tried it and some eggs. That was okay, not great, but okay. Mm. And when I'm done eating this, I'm going to go and watch the movie Rampage. I watched it yesterday, but it was really good. I'm gonna watch it again. Today I watched The Greatest Showman I was not sold. Did not like it. Thought it was corny. Thought it was kind of boring. But it was so funny. Look at the light from the kitchen shining on my head. So it looks like a continuation of my gray streak in my hair. Or just a really shiny forehead. Either one. <laughs> Maybe just a shiny forehead. bite because I'm gonna share half with my daughter and because I don't need to eat the whole thing like I said I'm in a fluffy season that I'm trying to get out of so I'm just gonna eat half eat half of this finish my salad finish my water 
Oh, maybe it's two more bites. Hmm. Where's my onion? Here it is. Mm. It's hard in there. Help you. Where are my onions? I've lost them. Nah, here we go. I have onions. Last bite. Not this time. Oh, here we go. More onions. I'll do it with this. Okay, everybody, so I'm going to head out, or I'm going to go now and finish this up and give the rest to my daughter. And so if you really like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe to the channel. As for joining, thank you to all the people who take the time out to subscribe and to like and to comment and to support my channel. And um, as I grow and learn, I appreciate it. And I hope you like this video and make sure you share it too. So I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.